In this lecture, we'll go into more detail about what it means for you as a worker, as an employee, as a manager, as a leader, as an entrepreneur, to act ethically in an organizational setting. It can be difficult to recognize ethical issues. Most people need years of experience to accurately recognize and react properly in an ethical manner to many complex business situations. Once a person has recognized an ethics issue, can, they can then openly discuss it with others. They have begun the process of resolving the issue. This list contains some questions you may ask yourself when trying to determine if an action that you're anticipating or expecting or hoping to take is an ethical one. Are there any potential legal restrictions or violations that would result from this action? Does your company have a specific code of ethics or a policy on this action? Is the activity customary in your industry? Are there any trade groups that provide guidelines or codes of conduct that address this particular issue? Would this activity be accepted by your coworkers? Will your decision or your action withstand open discussion if it became if everyone became aware of what you did would it would it withstand that open the, the light of day if you will with co-workers and managers would would your reputation survive untarnished how does this activity fit with your own beliefs and values these are all the kinds of questions that you would ask yourself before you act in a situation that may have ethical uh, concerns General Motors issued a recall on its 2005 to 2007, 2007 Chevrolet Cobalt vehicles, but not until at least six deaths were attributed to the Cobalt car accidents. Where the, in these cases, the airbags did not deploy due to a switch failure. It's been alleged that G, a GM engineer had encountered the problem as early as 2004. However, GM didn't issue a recall at that time. Rather, the company sent a service bulletin to its dealers advising them to install snap-on key covers that would fix the problem if customers complained. They'd only install it if customers complained. Many dealers did not install these key covers. A congressional hearing was ordered to investigate the situation, but before GM testified, it launched an additional recall of 1.5 million vehicles for electric power steering issues. You can see how ethical issues arose within this organization. Oftentimes, people in organizations, the culture is that you don't deliver bad news because people yell at you or you, you become uh, a negative person if you deliver bad news like this problem within the airbags that can create environments where ethic acting ethically can be difficult to do sometimes it's difficult for employees to determine which conduct is acceptable particularly if the firm doesn't have an established ethics policy or standards and if the culture might be pressing some pressing in some direction that is at odds with what one thinks might be the appropriate ethical approach or ethical decision. Professional codes of ethics are formalized rules and standards that describe what a company expects of its employees. Codes of ethics, policies on ethics, and ethics training programs advance ethical behavior because they prescribe which activities are acceptable and which are not. And they limit the opportunity for misconduct by providing punishment for violation of these rules and standards. Codes and policies on ethics encourage the creation of an ethical culture across the company. The enforcement of ethics codes and practices and policies through rewards and punishment increase the acceptance of these ethical standards by, by employees. This is one of the important reasons that organizations should publish, clarify, and make sure everyone is aware of a code of ethics and that those ethical policies are modeled by other leaders, by the leadership, 
and enforced when they're not when they are violated. One important component of an ethics environment is having or giving means to employees so they can report misconduct or unethical behavior that they observe and be able to do so anonymously. Although the risk of retaliation for exposing some sort of a malfeasance still exists, a major, it's an, and it's a major factor, it, this, this sort of whistleblowing environment can help alleviate some of that pressure. One of the main reasons people don't report ethical violations is they're afraid it will harm them, their career or their work life in general. And so eliminating that with this anonymous way to report violations is an important step. The National Business Ethics Survey found that whistleblowing has increased in the past few years. This notion of whistleblowing occurs when an employee exposes an employer's wrongdoings to outsiders, such as the media, governments, or regulatory agencies. However, more companies are establishing programs internally to encourage employees to report illegal or unethical practices internally so that they can take steps to remedy the problem before they result in legal actions or negative publicity. In 2010, Congress passed the Dodd-Frank Act, which includes a whistleblower bounty program. That is, there a way that being a whistleblower whenever the banking system is doing something to harm consumers or to harm the business, the harm uh, on the ethical practice of loan guarantees and, and financial services events, uh, that people can can actually get some benefit from that going through this anonymous type process. The, the Securities and Exchange Commission can now award whistleblowers between 10 and 30% of monetary sanctions against banking companies that are over a million dollars. The current trend is to move away from legally based ethical initiatives and in organizations to more internal culturally or integrity based initiatives, which makes ethics internal part of the core organizational values rather than simply relying on whether or not it's legal or illegal. Organizations recognize that effective business <clears throat> and ethics programs are good for business performance. Firms that develop high levels of trust function more efficiently and effectively and avoid damaged company reputations and product images. Firms that develop higher levels of trust function more efficiently and more effectively and avoid damage to their company's reputation and product image. In the next lecture, we'll talk a little bit more about what it means to be socially responsible within an organizational setting.